Are you suffering from medial scapular pain? Which is a pain on the middle part of your back that you think is a back pain, but this is really originated from your neck that supplies the middle aspect of your scapular area of your shoulder blade. Hi, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. In this video, I'll be targeting four best strengthening stretches exercises to target your medial scapular pain utilizing Pilates Yoga and Physical Therapy. If you're new to my channel, my channel is about Pilates Yoga, Physical Therapy, Health and Wellness. Please subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any of my video training. In this video, you will need an elastic band, a mat to join me today. So let's discuss about medial scapular pain. It's really common, especially if you have forward rounded head and shoulder posture. And sometimes with weakness on your core muscles, it creates this forward posture without the support on your core muscles. And because it's a neck, pain that supplies the medial aspect, your rhomboids, levator scapulae, and overtrained upper straps muscles. It causes this never-ending cycle of forward shoulder posture, and it also causes this global problem on your scapula. This can be relieved a little bit with some neck stretches, because when you relieve the pinch nerve from your neck, it will help relieve that pins and needles sometimes on your scapula, or sometimes sharp pain, or sometimes it's chronic that creates this dull, nagging, aching pain. But when this becomes weak, it becomes really sore, tight, and then with this weakness, if you don't strengthen this area, then it has its own global problem. So it creates this a situation, no matter how much we stretch your neck, if you don't strengthen this area where you're having pain, usually on one side or sometimes bilateral, then it's important to strengthen it and then also do your neck exercises. I have some neck exercises video you can add after this beautiful strengthening program to target those muscles that will help support your scapular to open your chest and help your overall posture. So the first exercise we're gonna do is a simple row. So you can do this by utilizing an elastic band, tie it on the doorknob, and you're gonna do some row exercises. You can start with one band or double band. Depends on your strength level. And you can also do this in seated position with your knees bent for those with tight knees or tight hamstrings. And you're gonna place it around the arches of your feet. And with the rows, you wanna make sure your back is straight, core engaged. And when you're gonna pull it, you wanna make sure it's not an arm exercise, not a shoulder exercise, but a back, upper back exercise targeting your scapula. So when you start pulling the band with your hands grip on it, you wanna make sure you pull through your shoulder first. So if it's your right side only, you can do one unilateral. So as you pull, you can place it on your right foot. If it's your right shoulder, if you have right scapular pain, place the band on the arch of your foot and you're gonna keep your thumb up, elbows level to your hip, shoulder back, you're gonna start pulling with your back, scapular engage first, before you gently pull it. So you wanna make sure the elbows behind your back and hold it for five seconds, hold, as you inhale, and then exhale, release. Slow and steady, this is not a strengthening just to keep building muscle, but to help awareness, proprioception on your back. Again, you're gonna scapular pull, so shoulder back, opening your chest, and pull. Keeping your neck, chin tuck, protect your neck, core engage, pull your belly button to your spine, and then pull back. Again, inhale, pull back, elbow behind you, and then as you progress, you wanna pull back with a little bit rotation, turning your neck now. Because I said this is a neck situation as well. If you have mid scapular pain, and look behind your shoulder, and back, pull, and turn your eye gaze behind your shoulder. And then you can progress with your knees bent again both and do both. If you wanna strengthen the other side, do that 10 repetitions, five seconds hold, slowly build up to 10 seconds hold. And if you wanna target the other side as well, you can. If you wanna keep it balanced and stable, 
on your postural muscles. So after doing rows, then we're gonna do some arm skydive, which means you're gonna lie on your stomach. If you have problem on your back, be careful when you lie on your stomach. And through gravity, you're gonna be against gravity lying on your stomach. With your elbow straight, you wanna make sure you're not hiking your shoulder towards your ear. You wanna pull it down, reaching down to your foot. You can place one hand in front of you to rest your neck because it's a neck condition as well. So you're gonna reach down to your ankle. So I'm reaching down with my thumb down, pointing down. And as I reach down towards my foot, I'm slowly lifting my hand behind my back. So I'm reaching back and really engaging my scapular muscles. And if you have forward rounded shoulder posture, you really wanna pull back your shoulder blade and the front part of your shoulder is pulled back. Not pointing down to the mat, but pulling up, opening, external rotating your shoulder blade. So you're external rotating your shoulder and then your shoulder blade is engaged and pull. you're gonna feel it on that mid back area where you have pain. Again, reach down and then lift. As you pull back, you're gonna slowly external rotate. Your thumb is slowly opening towards to the ceiling. And inhale, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale and do that 10 repetitions. The next exercise is gonna be in all fours. If you have knee problem, you can place pillows on your knees, hand level to your shoulder, fingers open for support, and we're gonna do some scapular depression and push. So this is gonna engage your scapular muscles. So you wanna make sure your chin top protect your neck. As I said, it's a neck condition as well. And you're gonna slowly press down to the mat. So this is against gravity, so it's a little bit difficult. And you wanna push and really elongating that scapular as a gentle stretch as you inhale and then exhale, slowly lowering your chest down, keeping your elbow straight and then squeezing that scapula, contract, relax. So it's like you're contracting the area and then exhale, push, 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 push. I'm lifting, inhale, squeezing your core in for core engagement and then exhale, down. Make sure your knees level to your hip and your core is engaged. Again, press, I'm really elongating, chin tuck, retract your neck and then exhale, push, push, push. Feel that? scapular, your medial scapular area, you're squeezing it together and then press. It's like a cat and camel, but keeping your neck retracted. So my neck muscles are also engaging. So after doing that 10 repetitions, five seconds hold for beginner, up to 10 seconds hold, you will need the wall for cervical retraction because as I said, it's a cervical condition. If you find all fours difficult, you can also do some wall, standing wall presses for absolute beginners. So we can do the same thing. You're gonna press, 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 and then it's like a push-up, keeping your elbow straight. Towards the wall, you come closer and then back. So let me demonstrate. Press, press, press and then out. So it's a little bit easier if you're very weak for absolute beginners because on all fours, it's a lot with your body weight sometimes. And the last exercise is on the wall. You can do this for beginners in seated position with your knees bent, making sure your buttocks is a little bit a few inches off the wall. The most important thing is your scapular muscles pushing back. And then you wanna make sure your head is touching the wall, your shoulder blades touching the wall, and then your palms on your side, palms open. And then this one, you're gonna squeeze your scapula towards the wall. You're gonna pull gently your elbows towards your waist, and then you're pushing your head on the wall. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna feel the tension on your neck all the way to that scapular area. And then as you release, you extend your elbows, pushing your hands out, reaching out, and then relaxing your neck. So again, as you pull in, you push your head towards the wall, chin tuck, you make a double chin, and then slowly pull in on your elbow, and then reach.
You can do this in sitting or you can also do this in standing, but when you're standing, your buttocks should be on the wall and your heel at the back of your feet is a few inches off the wall. So when you do this in standing, make two to three inches off the wall and then your head is touching and your buttocks is touching as well. Palms out, pressing your head, chin tuck, and then pressing your shoulder blade and your elbow and back of your hand on the wall. And then as you exhale, slowly release, pushing my hand away from me and relaxing. Again, chin tuck, pull, pull in, and then relax. So contract, relax, five seconds hold up to 10 repetitions, and then challenge as well to 10 seconds hold as you get stronger, improving your posture to open that chest, engage those upper back muscles and your neck, your posterior chain muscles. If you love this video and if you want me to do a follow along video, leave a comment down below and I try to make a video just for you. If you have any questions, suggestions, and concerns about medial scapular pain, and if you want to engage more of your neck muscles and to improve the flexibility mobility, I have videos you can check out over here. If you need my guidance and special support with Zoom meeting calls, you can join my back masterclass. I'll be reopening January 2023. Leave your name and email address on the description below and you can receive an email from me on how to join my exclusive small intimate class. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well, and healthy you. Bye.